Apparently, Hat WRKS, a hat shop in Nashville, Tennessee, is now selling stick-on patches that say, not vaccinated. And these patches are yellow. And they are shaped as stars. Oh, and, take a wild guess as to what they look like. Yes, observe the patch in the picture accompanying the following tweet. Gee, are these patches actually supposed to mimic the Star of David patches that Nazis forced people of Jewish descent to wear during the Holocaust? You know, that Holocaust, where the Nazi party tried to try to wipe out entire groups of people, sending those of Jewish descent as well as those of Slavic descent, people of color, people from the LGBT community, those with disabilities, and others to gas chambers, murdering millions. That Holocaust, which caused years of subsequent suffering to many, many families. That Holocaust, which has become a symbol of how racist and awful people can be. If you have to pick up your jaw up from the ground, you haven't been following what some anti-vaccination and anti-COVID-19 precautions efforts have been doing. Unfortunately, it's become more and more common for people to compare vaccination and COVID-19 precautions designed to prevent suffering and save lives to the racist policies and genocidal atrocities of the Nazis around the time of World War II. For example, listen to what Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, R. Georgia, said here, if your response to such statements began with, what the, or, WTMTG, you would not be alone. This certainly wasn't the first time that Taylor Greene brought those of Jewish descent into a conversation that really had nothing to do with the topic. For example, her previous statements about the California wildfires got the words, Jewish space laser, to trend back in January, as I covered for Forbes back then. Not surprisingly, many on the Twitter sphere were, shall we say, not happy to see the hat WRKS, not vaccinated, patches. For example, and not that violence should be condoned, but, technically, this tweet is not telling anyone to punch anyone in the face. It is leaving open the possibility, sort of like the song, Call Me Maybe, which can be freaking confusing. Again, unless you are in a boxing or MMA ring, there is no reason to punch someone in the face. This certainly isn't the first time yellow star patches have been used by anti-vaxxers. For example, here's a picture of a woman wearing such a patch while looking f like she is attempting to floss. Wearing such a patch is a combination of ridiculous and awful. It's rid awful as in get rid of it. Not only does it thoroughly misrepresent the intent of vaccination, it also trivializes racism and a truly horrendous event in human history. Whoever at hat WRKS thought, Hey, this is a good idea, before offering the yellow star, not vaccinated, patches, overlooked one small detail, that this is a terrible idea.